Hi everyone, it's CJ here, otherwise known as Jersey Who Ninety. Woo! So, stuff to say in this video. First, I have this box today. It is a My Geek box. Um, not sure what this is because I haven't received June's one yet, and. They said they were going to send me a replacement. Um, but this also could be this month's box too. I don't know. Um, I'm also expecting, because you know they sent me the wrong size t-shirt. Well, they said they sent me another one if they had stock. I never heard back to them on that front. So, I don't know if this is July, June's, July's, or a t-shirt. I don't think it's a t-shirt because it it's quite heavy, it's a quite heavy box, so it's definitely probably not the t-shirt. But, um, one thing, so you may think, why is it in a blue plastic bag? Mine didn't arrive, or they you don't normally arrive to get them in a blue paper bag, a plastic bag. They wrapped this in a plastic bag because it slightly damaged here. You can see the size of this said hole here. In fact, I'll come to the camera and show you. See? You can see the size damage in the box inside. Um, and no kidding me, this is how it arrives. So the bag has now been ripped open in the same place. So tell me, what was the point in wrapping it in the bag in the first place for that small amount of damage? So yeah, why they wrapped it in this bag, I have no idea. So, I never know about my geek box before we get into this. Um, they are now shipping my boxes internationally. What? I'm in Jersey. I'm part of the UK. I may be an island that's not that's not attached to the UK, but I'm still part of the UK. Would they treat someone like Island of Man like this? No, probably not. I think it's ridiculous. It's stupid. Um, because it now means my boxes can take up to 21 days to arrive, when before they were the average time for a parcel to get to the U from, from uh, around the UK. So it's ridiculous. Um, I'm just, I'm annoyed at that. I tell you now, I'm really annoyed by it because it's ridiculous. If this is July, it means it's got to me in a week. It, so on that note, that's fine. If this is June's, we have some problems. A whole month has gone by. This took a whole month to get here then. So, mm. uh, well, I'm not sure on that. I will look at the label when I open the box because I'm sure there'll be a label to tell me when it was shipped. So, we shall see. But, so, I am quite annoyed at this whole... Oh, look, it's, look this hole is damaged here. Ridiculous! I don't know why they've done this. It's a joke. On the note, it looks like my geek box have changed their boxes slightly, which is nice. Right. Yes, they have. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Nice box design. I like it. Right, let's see. Oh! There is no address on this whatsoever. That is weird. Okay. That is really peculiar. Did, maybe they had it wrapped in another thing? I don't know. Maybe this is why it didn't get to me, because it didn't have a label on it. I don't know. I'll have to watch other people's videos to see if 
this was wrapped in something else or because that's really unusual unless they ship them in boxes now being international in these bags and maybe they ship them in these bags now and that and it was and they were just and this doesn't mean that it was broken that was just it's just turned up like that i reckon that's more like it um that it's now shipped in these bags because there's no label on this so it can't be that it was damaged because my address would still be on this one so okay so they're forgiven by that one but on here it says it was shipped it's got a date on here of the 16th of the 7th so that means this should be july's then but we shall see. Um, on a bonus, I do like the new boxes. Bad that this has happened. Because surely you should design a box so this sort of thing doesn't happen. Though at least it's only a little dink. And it's not a massive thing. This is the fault of the mailman rather than them, I guess. But So we shall see what this contains. I like the new box. It's nice. It's still the blue. But it's a much solider box. Actually, the other box was still good. Um, is it slightly smaller, I think? But anyway, we shall see. Right, now, obviously, I don't know what this is going to be, so I've just got to go in blind. I think this is this month. It's got to be this month. But tell me, I guess my last month just got lost then, in that case. Um, they said they're going to send me out a replacement, but uh, it will come after July's because they're busy. They're busy packing June, July's, so they can't ship mine until they can't replace my June's until they finish sorting out the July ones. But hey, uh, that's fine. I don't mind as long as I get it. Because it's been a month that I've been trying to sort out the whole wrong t-shirt thing. So, yeah. It's annoying. To say the least. What is that? Oh. Well, I think... I'm going to pull this out because it's a mug. I can feel it because of how I picked it up. See? Oh, it's a Transformers mug. That's nice. Autobot shaped mug. Okay, that's nice. I like that. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. I like that. That's awesome. It's completely flat on the front and it's all black. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, I like that. Um, I don't, like I said previous in previous videos, um, I don't like to use mugs if I've only got one of them because I'm afraid I'll break them. I have a fear that I'll break it, so... Therefore, I don't use, like, cool mugs like this, but I keep them on display instead. Um, so, yeah, awesome. Oh, look! And this is unsuitable for dishwasher or microwave use. So that's another reason why not to use it as a mug. Because what's the point of a mug that you can't put in a dishwasher? <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's awesome. That's an awesome start. Right. And there's a t-shirt stuffed in the corner here, so let's pull this out. I don't know what the theme is for this month. I didn't even pay attention to it, to be honest. So, we shall see. It's a t-shirt with a sash in it. Uh-huh. Project Nemesis. Biological War War Warfare. Umbrella Corp. It's an interesting t-shirt. I just don't know what it means. I love the slashes and the blood, that's pretty cool. But this logo, don't get it. Maybe I will... Project Nemesis, I've heard of Project Nemesis before though. Interesting. Um, I'll have to... Oh no, they don't tell you what's in this one because it's a stupid box that doesn't tell you what you get in it. 
unless they change that in June and which case I could be talking rubbish because I don't know because I haven't got my June yet. Yay! Um, so yeah, here we go. So that's an all, it's an all right t-shirt. I just don't get what that is. I'll have to look at other people's videos to find out probably. Uh, right, so there's a thing here. Let's pull this out. Oh, it's one of these card holder things. Skynet. Neutral net based article of artificial intelligence. Okay, interesting. It's a Terminator 2 Judgment Day card holder. You know these these you slide in you like you can use your oyster card. Uh, so you can insert and instantly swipe for your card as you go. Like that. Yeah, look, it even says oyster cards on it. Cinema cards, student card, you know. And our ad card pass holder, which is cool. It's alright. I like that. That's cool. Um, I have an Oyster card even though I live in Jersey because when you go to the UK it's great to use an Oyster card. It's so much easier than remembering to keep... See, you can put the money in when you get to England, when you get to um, London or wherever, whichever airport you can get all that there and put all your money in for, for your travel and then you don't have to worry about travel expenses because it's there on the Oyster card so you don't have to remember to keep money to travel home which is I find very useful because I can do that I can go to a shop and go oh yeah I've got enough money for that yeah oh now I don't have enough money to get home <laughs> but yeah so yeah awesome I like that that's cool uh, let's see there's a thing, there's a big thing, there's a sort of spirally thing, there's another thing. Let's just go for this squarey thing. Oh, it's a Davros. Oh. How totally random. Davros. If I am not Eagle Moss. Yes, I'm correct, Eagle Moss. So, Eagle Moss magazine. Um or Eagle Moss magazines in general. Um, this is where this is from, because I recognise it. Because I actually have one of these. I got the first ever issue of this magazine uh, and then decided I wasn't going to collect them. <laughs> because at that point I didn't have a space to put, uh, much of a space to put them, but I could have collected them now though. But So I don't mind getting the one because I've now got two of them. I have 11th Doctor and now I've got Davros, so that's cool. Um, yeah, there I took my other one out of the packet, I believe. Uh, but yeah, it's like Davros from Journey's End and in 10th Doctor's era. So that's cool. That's actually pretty cool. I don't mind that um, because I've noticed these have now gone on sale um, on Entertainment Earth, which is an American site. Um, which is interesting, just these figures, not the magazine, but just these figures. Um, so that intrigued me slightly, that you can buy the figures without having to buy the magazine, which is intriguing. Um, but there you go. So he's cool. Um, I didn't. I decided against them because I wasn't entirely impressed with the little figure, and it's a magazine that I wouldn't read. So I was like, what's the point in getting this just for this this figure, you know? So I was like, yeah. So I decided not to get them um, due to lack of space. Um, because I've got a lot of things I like to collect, you know, like my Funko Pops. And I'm into so much stuff, like Doctor Who's not the only thing I'm into. So I didn't want to get this collection and have quite a lot. This is what's made, this and the mug was what made the book. Actually, the mug is light compared to this, which is really weird. Anyway, that's cool. Oh, I didn't, dragging in. Right, it is a Hobbit thing. Battle of the Fireboat armies. Oh, it's a random coaster. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Azog the Defiler. So yeah, that's cool. It's a Hobbit coaster. That's alright, that's cool. 
I would be tempted to keep it in the package like that and use it like that. So you've got this to wipe instead of, then it won't get dirty if you want to use it. Yeah, that's a thing that I think would be a clever idea actually. Because you can't really tell that it's wrapped up unless you look at the back, but you don't make it coaster, you put it there. So I think I'd keep it in that protective thing if I was going to use it. I'm not sure if I will use it though, so yeah. But anyway, that's cool. So yeah, that's alright. Um, right, there's this thing which is, oh, it's a bookmark. Oh, I've seen this somewhere. Oh, Breaking Bad. Okay, it's a notebook. It's literally just a notebook. Breaking Bad. Um, it's a Breaking Bad notebook, basically. That's pretty cool. That's all right. That's cool. Um, I don't know. Again, yeah, no, but a notebook is cool. Um, I'm not a huge. I haven't watched get, uh, Breaking Bad, so I don't get the reference on it. Um, because I can't watch every single channel, every single TV program. You know, I, I can try, but you know. There are some that I haven't got to yet, I guess. But apparently it's supposed to be good. But, um, yeah, so I don't get the this image on the front. I don't get how that's a reference, but it's cool. It's a cool thing if you're... Yeah, it's a nice notebook. It's a really nice... It's a really nice notebook, so I don't mind that. That's cool. And it might be something that relates when I... Oh, there's nothing else in there. Oh, okay. I thought there would be more in that. <laughs> uh, thank you for subscribing. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Share your unboxing. Snap it, blog it, record it, shout it. Yeah, whatever. I do that anyway. <laughs> yeah, so... No book to tell me what's supposed to be in the box. I hate that. I'm really, really bugging me. It's really bugging me. Why not put it in there? It's not that difficult thing to do. Oh, everyone else does it, so why can't you? Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's all right. This is all right. Um, I'm not get. I'm just trying to think values. Well, the, the thing, I think it's worth, I think, yeah, I think it's good. I think you've got your money back anyway, I would say, because it's, oh, what, the box is 17, 18, 18, I think. Um, so the t-shirt is 10, I'd say, generally, I'd say that it's about 10 for a t-shirt. And then the mug and this would equate to more than £7 together, I think. Um, so you've got your value with those three items, then you've got free, then you've got these three for free. <laughs> you've got a coaster, a holder and a notebook for free. So it's, yeah, the value is there with this one. Um, much better than that um, Weespawn one. That wasn't great. Um, but anyway. Um, so yeah, this is July's. What can I say? Um, meh. July's. What can I say? I haven't got June's yet. Hopefully, since this one arrived really quickly, um, the next month, the last months will arrive soon. So, the, I think they've got all their boxes out, so it should be shipped. So I should have it by next week, hopefully. Um... Hopefully, if they haven't forgotten about me, that is, because I've been waiting a month for this t-shirt thing to be resolved. Um, but hey, we shall see. Yep, what can I say? Um, it's cool. This is really heavy. This is must have been what was given the weight, because it's quite heavy. Um, so yeah. I love the new, I like the new box. 
It's just, why not just stick a sticker on the bottom like everyone else does? They still get fine. Just invest in some tape to stick it down and it's just as good. Putting in this bag, don't do anything. Just makes it look silly. So there, that's my opinion. And include a spoiler card at the bottom. It's not that difficult. Anyway, uh, I will watch other people's videos to find out what this is. Oh, I'm I'm sorry this video has been a bit raunty, um, but I'm so annoyed that. Okay, so if my boxes will take this the, as quickly as this month did to come down, I am not bothered if they send it internationally. Doesn't bother me in the slightest if it comes. But the fact that it's um, been a whole month since they shipped, supposedly shipped my um, June one, and I haven't got it yet, is quite annoying. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, yeah. All I can say is I hope I will be happy once I get a, uh, once I get an issue to this resolved. If my bot, if you know, the only thing I'm really annoyed about is the fact that I have I've seen spoilers. I know what the pop is now because people are selling it if they don't want it on Facebook pages and stuff like that. Um, I mean, it was being sold at, San at the Comic Con. London Film and Comic Con, as I believe, because someone picked it up from there. So it's like, I can get the pop elsewhere now, you know? But the fact is, I still want my geek box, because I've paid for it, you know? So hopefully they are going to send it to me. Um, I'm in a bit of an up, a bit of a weird feelings about this book, about um, my geek box right now. Um, they were great until, until it hit, they was like, I've had, like, for instance, uh, so May's, I got sent the wrong t-shirt. June's didn't turn up at all. Um, this one, though it arrived slightly damaged, it did arrive on time. So that's, out of the three months, this one is the first one I haven't had a problem with, so that's good. Um, I will continue to get them, don't get me wrong, it's not, I've, I don't have a problem. Yeah, I will continue to get them, but I am upset that last month was lost and that it took so long to get, a, get an answer from them, you know, as to what to do about it, you know, but hey, that's a story that's a that's it anyway i can't go on anymore otherwise you just won't want to listen to me um but hey um i was hoping i would get more boxes today but there you go you can't have it all <laughs> but anyway uh yeah i shall see you later thank you for watching bye